Howdy all, grab yourselves a beer, it is time for some Path of Exile crafting. And today, what I'm going to do is experiment with a new method of crafting hubris circlets with plus 32, the, uh, plus 30 uh, synthesized implicit to intelligence. What I've done in the past is I've looked for a set of hubris circlets that all had three, three hubris circlets, uh, at least one of which was a high item level, and of which um, none of them had a fractured mod that was energy shield, and all three of them had the same two fractured mods. What's happened is that the synthesis economy has adjusted to this, and now any two locked hubris circlet, even at a fairly low item level, uh, they're generally not available cheap anymore. Sometimes they are, but only when there's an absolutely uh, terrible, terrible, terrible uh, set of explicit mods that where they've got rare explicit mods. So for instance, Chaos Resistance is a pretty rare mod on a helmet. Uh, so it'll have things like Chaos Resistance where you're going to have a lot of trouble finding two more with the same mods. So what I've done as a starting point, you'll see here this Demon Veil Regicide Mask. I did a search on poa.trade. And I was looking for helmets that are item level 86 or higher and that had three locked mods. I didn't actually care what those locked mods were as long as none of them were flat energy shield. So by flat energy shield, I mean that plus 41 to maximum energy shield as opposed to the plus 70% increased energy shield that you see here. So if it's not a percentage, it's flat. So I want any three mods, any three locked mods, and then I hit it with a scouring orb, and then I used Helena's Benchcraft to smash it with uh, to smash it with the increased energy shield to get what we, what you see here. I'm just looking for that mod now because it's um, always when you're trying to find it, this mod here. And anyways, I did that and I rolled the 41. 41, I thought that may not be high enough. It's um, it's less than a third of the magic number. I'll get to why the magic number is 126 later. Now, the synthesizer pick, uh, takes the highest item level of the input items and then appears to take a base at random. So what I wanted was the other two items to both be hubris circlets. And as you can see here, I've got two hubris circlets that I've picked up. I picked up these for five chaos orbs each. However, they didn't have the mods you see on them now. This was just a rare item that had the locked mod 10% cold resistance and had four other bad mods on it. And this was a rare item again, 15 maximum mana and three or four other bad mods on it. What I did was I used a scouring orb which turned them into a magic item and then I kept hitting them with regal orbs and then scouring orbs until all of the mods on them were a subset of what was on the regicide mask. So. With this, I kept scouring, scour, 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 regal, 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 and eventually I rolled that intelligence roll that you see there. I kept the intelligence, not because I want the item to have intelligence on it, that's, um, that's pretty much useless to me, but because it reduces the pool of possible implicits that can be picked by the synthesizer. So, then after that, I went and I crafted Helena's Benchcraft for flat, intel uh, for flat energy shield on the item. I did the same here. I kept uh, scour regling it until eventually I settled on the plus 10 intelligence, which was the role that I wanted. Then I went and used uh, Helena's Benchcraft. Actually, the first time I didn't get high enough, I got 33. Oh, sorry, 30, 36. That wasn't enough because I didn't add it to 126. But with Helena's Benchcraft, so you can just craft over them. You use the same one. Uh, where is it here? It's plus flat energy shield. Cost you an alchemy orb and a scouring orb, and it just re-rolls. It's like using a divine orb on the item, it just re-rolls that mod. So once I've done that, I now have three items. Two of them are hubrises, one is a regicide mask. They have a total of four different mods between them. Intelligence, mana, chaos, uh, cold resistance, and maximum energy shield, and subsets thereof. At this point, I have a 1 in 3 chance of getting 3 mods and a 2 in 3 chance of getting 1 mod on my final product. So that adds up to a 5, 
five in nine on average that I will see. Uh, five mods, five. I will see five ninths of a mod on average. When, sorry, no, I'll say five thirds of a mod on average. That's more correct. Five thirds of a mod on average. There are four possible mods to pick from, and one of them is the desired one, which is Energy Shield. So let's head to the Nexus and stick this in the synthesizer. Very real chance that this could fail, but the big thing that's made this so good is that it was so cheap to make this attempt. Drum roll, please. We need to hit both a Hubris and we didn't hit the uh, desired mods. You'll notice that I only got one implicit, and then at that point there are four possibilities. In any case, I didn't hit with this try, but I'm not going to uh, let that worry me. In fact, I may just have already prepared the next one here. So let's go for it again. Uh, at this point, we're going to go back to the hideout. Now something that's of interest is that this has a flat evasion rating roll on it. That will actually prevent you from using Helena's uh, flat energy shield roll. Don't worry, however. Once we remove that, we can now stick flat energy shield on this. So, uh, 37 won't be, enough, uh, won't be a high enough roll, but we'll keep it aside for now. Um, we now have intelligence, accuracy rating, and cold resistance. So let's jump over to a web browser and we shall start doing some searching. So just to confirm it, it was intelligence, accuracy, and cold resistance. Search form, we want, uh, we're in poe.trade at the moment and we want to go for hubris circlets only. We are only considering hubris circlets and our first mod is intelligence. Our second mod that we want is accuracy rating fractured. So that would be accuracy rating, but we want it specifically as a fractured mod. And just one is enough. Our third mod is also cold resistance. Uh, the reason that these are already set up so well is that, they're, that this item was quite similar to the previous one. So let's run our search and see what we get. We don't care about item level because it will inherit the highest item level. At this point, let's start sending out some tells. Woe Ward Hubris Circlet. Uh, this person's asking five Chaos Orbs for that. I'm very happy to take it at that price if, if they're available. At this point, I'll jump, uh, I'll jump the uh, video recording back into the uh, game client. Now, it is entirely possible this person may be AFK. They may be, um, they may just be uh, playing funny buggers with the listing, but in any case, I'm going to um, try it. I'm also going to order my next option down, which is uh, this Rune Dome Hubris Circlet is a accuracy only one locked Hubris. And let's just start with the next one as well, which is a low item level Hubris that is uh, cold resistance locked only. I have ranted about uh, how bad trading is in this game before. I will rant again. It is driving me nuts. But we've got one of them. Now this is the guy that was selling the uh, 10 Chaos 45, 45 Cold Resistance Locked Hubris. So now this guy's going to take a little while to uh, Carry out uh, to do his relevant searching. And here we go. So that's it, cold resistance, everything else is irrelevant. And now we shall keep going down. Uh, I'm going to go down the list in my other window. And I'm sending a tell to someone else that is selling a cold resistance item. And excellent, we've got someone that is present for once. So this guy is selling a 28 cold resist locked uh, hubris circlet for 10 chaos orbs. So notice that my costs are pretty, my cost base is pretty low. I think I paid five for the uh, five for the noble tricorn that was the starting uh, that was the starter piece for this. So I paid 25 chaos so far. And I'm always always try to be friendly to people when I trade with them because trade is an ordeal. It's uh, less of one when people are people are nice to each other. Now, 
Uh, even though this actually has non-awful mods on it, but uh, they're not... Even though it's, it's got an energy shield roll, it's pretty good. I'm still going to scour it off. Uh, because now we've got Intelligence, Accuracy, Cold Resist. So we need to get a mod from that, from that category. That's not high enough, so I'm going to scour that away. That's not from our category. Life is not from our category, so that goes away. Intelligence. That's one of the goals. And here, we have life is no good. That's no good. That's no good. Life is quite a common role on helmets, as you'll see here, and I'm probably going to get cursed with more of them. Accuracy is what we wanted as well. So, this item has intelligence, accuracy, cold resist, and energy shield. Is the next item a subset thereof? And the answer is yes, cold resistance and intelligence. Is this item cold resistance and accuracy? Yes. So, next up, we are going to use Helena's Benchcraft to add flat energy shield to this item. 43, that's a good roll. 37. Now, we don't have enough here. These add to 80. This adds to 117. We need 126. So take the lowest and re-roll it. 45, that added 8, that's still one short. Uh, so we're going to re-roll this one. We need at least 38. We need at least 38, there we go. Now, very important, double, triple check that you've got that right. 43 plus 38 is 81. 81, that's 126. We've set our magic number is 126, so therefore we are ready to synthesize this up. And can we get a drum roll, please? We have an average 5 on 3 uh, implicits and 4 to choose from, which gives us a 5 in 12 chance of a success, I believe. However, that is mitigated a bit by the fact that we could get a Noble Tricon as the outcome, which would suck. Uh, that actually means that we have a 5 in 18 chance of succeeding. Success defined as getting a Hubris Circlet that has 30, uh, 30 energy shield on it. Given the small amount we paid for this, we have paid 10, 10, and 5 Chaos Orbs. Then we've spent, um, I'm not sure exactly how much in in Regal Scouring, but uh, it's not very much. Uh, we're looking at spending maybe 60 Chaos per attempt, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm not exactly certain how much I spent on, on Scour Regling uh, for a 5 in 18 chance. Uh, that means it's an average of 216 Chaos per success. Far away, what do we get here? We get the right base and the wrong mod. And ironically, that is exactly the same as we got last time. Uh, however, I'm still fine with that. Uh, as I say, it's a perfectly reasonable risk to take. And the average cost, I believe, to be only about 216 Chaos per success via this means. The last thing I will do quickly is just check how much those hubrises are going for when they're already crafted. And so again, this is uh, poe.trade. Um, I find that poe.trade and the GGG trade site both have their uses. So we're looking for item level 86 and we are looking for... Uh, we are looking for... not fractured, we're looking for implicit energy shield. So... Crafted Implicit plus Percentage Energy Shield. We're just looking for the Flat Energy Shield. And we're looking for at least 24 because that's the highest tier roll. Let's have a look see what's available on the market. And 3.5 Exalts is the cheapest of them. Uh, although that's come pre-crafted with a little bit, of, little bit of reasonable stuff on it. In any case, I think you can see here that there's... Uh, oh, and that one's mine. That one... 4.4 exalts. Um, I think you can see here that this craft is moderately accessible and it becomes more accessible if you don't insist on item level 86. You could also settle for a two locked first item as well. So there's lots of options you can take to, um, you know, slightly uh, to cheapen it further. And I think there's, uh, there's certainly a lot that you can um, that you can achieve via use of this via use of the um, synthesis crafting on a pretty tight budget. If you've got any questions, 
uh, hit them up below. This is a little bit more difficult to do with items that are not helmets, uh, but if you're willing to settle for second best, so if instead of 24 to 30 energy shield implicit, you're willing to settle for a tier 2 roll, which is up to 23 energy shield, uh, then you can do it pretty reasonably. Anyways, that's all I got. Have a good one.